It was the deadliest fire in 27 years. 13 people were killed, including a seven-month-old baby. But as the mourning continues for the lives lost last December, New York officials have hailed the actions of a Ghanaian immigrant who died saving lives. Private first class in the U.S. National Guard, Emmanuel Mensah lived on the third floor of the Bronx building, which caught fire when a three-year-old played with the knobs of a stove. After making sure the people he lived with escaped, Mensah returned again and again to the burning building, bringing out four people. He was later discovered on the fourth floor having died from smoke inhalation. If I'm here and I see this fire, I'll be running like hell. You know, I was running away, and the people were running away. But for him to have that courage and get people out, comes first, went back again in the fire, and then went back again, back and forth. Then you can, you can, you, you can pinpoint how kind of, the, that kind of nature he is. I don't have to say all this and say, oh, my son is good. You, you can say that. You, you can say it for yourself. Mensa, a newly naturalized American citizen, immigrated to the U.S to live with his father. His mother had died in childbirth in Accra, Ghana. He had an interest in engineering and computers, but he found meaning in helping others and had dreams of becoming a police officer. In 2016, he joined the National Guard. Staff Sergeant Ruben Martinez Ortiz was Mensa's recruiting officer. He was definitely what any, like, you, like I would want to serve with somebody like Emmanuel Meza, you know? There's people that join the military for, you know, for whatever reasons and stuff like that, but then you know who you'd want to serve next to. And he was definitely one person that I would definitely would have wanted to serve next to. He was, he was a soldier soldier. Mensa touched many lives, including Margot Perkins, a neighbor who lives adjacent to the building that caught fire. You know, when I think about him, I talk to him in, in my mind because I, I feel like he's still around. He used to call me mom. Whenever I needed something done, he always did it. He's a good angel. <laughs> Mensah's father hopes his son isn't forgotten. To be known for acts of selflessness and bravery, he said, is the hallmark of a life with meaning. His legacy... It's something that uh, I cherish a lot. You know, that, that makes me feel he came to this world to do what he did. And, and, and um, uh, once, and, uh, once and for all, he did what he was supposed to do. And, and it's out of this world. And sooner or later, I will be world of all. But he has to be remembered as a hero. Mensa had planned to continue his training and join the military police. He became a U.S. citizen in September, and although his life was lost, he would live on. This year, New York will officially rename the street corner where the fire took place after him. From Woodland Cemetery in the Bronx, Salem Solomon, VOA News, New York.